the same place day after day, they just watch it like it was yesterday. Despite the fact that it causes him tremendous anxiety, he insists on returning. He insists it's for therapeutic reasons, but I remain skeptical. He doesn't respond well to questions about his personal life. I became extremely angry when I mentioned events prior to what he insists on describing as Black Day. His school and home life were no ill topics when discussing these feelings and anxieties. He told me the other day that he'd been seeing hallucinations, but couldn't give a clear description of what he'd been seeing. Naturally, I didn't take him seriously. I saw no evidence to suggest this was the case, but up his prescription anyway. He claims the extra medication helps.
accident. It's a miracle he still retains upper body motion. From the waist down, however, there is no nervous response at all. Not to mention the mental trauma he suffered. From what I can tell, Simon is a deeply disturbed individual who had mental problems even prior to the accident.
back to the train. Sitting here like a fool. Feels like it was just a few seconds ago I was traveling here. No, think straight. I got hit by a car, woke up, and these things have been trying to kill me since. I mean, what is actually happening with me? Mom keeps telling me to get home, but why? How would that solve any of the crazy shit I've seen? I can't even contact the police here. Everything is just... fucked. Could it be that I'm just... hallucinating? No, s seriously. Am I? Or is there something else? Guy. Well, he is crazy, all right. But could he have done something to me? Seeing as he wears a gas mask. Or is all this just not real? I'm confused. I'm just very confused. So many questions, but no answers. I'll see what happens when I come home.